Hi everybody. Welcome to the table. So we are going to do something a little different. Um, it is a, I call it a reverse dip. Don't know if that's a, a correct term or if there really is a term for it, but that's what we're going to do today. So what we're going to do, go on Hanata, go on. So what we're going to do is, sorry, cleaning off my spatula in case I decide to use it. Okay. So what we're going to do is I have eight colors mixed up here and we are going to kind of just pour them on straight onto the canvas, literally a, a dirty pour onto the canvas. After we do that, we're going to move it around and we're going to see what we get. If we like the results, we're going to leave it. If we don't like the results, we're actually going to take a piece of plastic and we're going to lay the plastic over the top and we're going to spread it out and then pull it off and see what we get. So we have some options depending on how it turns out. The colors we are using are very, very earth tones. Um, we have uh, Glorious Gold. It is the wine with a little bit of burgundy in it. Warm brown. Antique maroon. Burnt umber. Burlap. Milk chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. And espresso. That sounds good too. Um, as you can see, I have my little whisks that I got in today. So far, I like them. You learned a couple things. Bigger cups, these are fantastic. These small cups, plastic knife, much better. These take a lot longer to mix up because they're so small and you can't really get a good, a good motion. Um, but I think but when I used them in the bigger cups earlier, they were really good. So we are gonna put a couple of drops of silicone in each one. The mixtures are the regular mixtures of Floetrol, water, pigment, and a little bit of silicone. Just two drops in each one. The paints are a little bit thicker today because when I pour, I don't want them to become very runny and muddy. So, they have a little bit more thickness in them today. Okay. Like I said, never done this before. Um, never seen this done. So we'll see what happens. Just mixing the silicone into those. Okay, so if y'all are ready, we will get started. Let's start with this, with this one. One of these days I'll remember. There we go. I'm actually keeping the rest of this paint. I'm not using all of it because we're going to do a flip cup on a 12 by 12 right after this with these colors. So it'll be two paintings in one video. We're going to finish. 
finish off with the gold. if we wanted to we could probably leave this the way it is um, I would drop off this big mass of, of gold um, but what I am gonna do because we're about to do the um, the reverse dip I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there to break it up Plastic. Looks like I'm a little off screen. Here we go. Okay. These out of the way. All right. All right. So we're just going to take the piece of plastic. We're going to put it on there and kind of smush it down and see what happens.
have a few like holes where the canvas is showing. trying to get it to flow into a angle. So what are you doing? Get out of the closet, please. Thank you, pretty girl. So if you hear me talking randomly to anybody, um, I've got five dogs. Um, so my husband was a missionary in Japan. And when he was there, he fell in love, or well, he one of his best friends um, that he met while being a missionary um, was also fr was from Japan and um, he tragically died in that big tsunami that they had quite a few years ago um, his, his friend passed away then but while they were in Japan doing missionary work together uh, my husband got introduced to animes like Naruto and those kind of animes. So, like I've said before, we're nerds, we're comic book nerds, um, but we also like to watch animes. And so, all of our dogs actually have Japanese names. So, we have. Um, okay. So we have um, Hanata Raven, Kirito Kodiak, because I lived in Kodiak for many years, um, Asuna Urza, Sakura Hanata, and Kiba Akamaru. It's a mouthful, I know. Um, 
So if you hear me randomly talking to an animal with a very weird Japanese name, that's, that's what it is. I'm talking to my dogs. My husband's name is Dustin, so, you know. But um, they also have nicknames. Um, Kitty Toe is Thumper. When he was a puppy, he uh, just thumped around the house. He was so loud because his paws were so big because he's so huge. Um, Hanata is uh, Wiggles because she just, when she gets excited, she just wiggles her whole body. Both of them are about 110 pounds each. Uh, their daddy is the Bubba, or I call him Big Kahuna. He's about 160 pounds. Sakura is the mama, and she, um, we just call her mama. And Asuna is um, munchkin butt. I know. If any of you have dogs, you understand that you just, some of the weirdest nicknames come from just stuff that's happened. So, okay. I think we are done on this one. I'm, I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out. I'm trying to fix these corners. The one thing about messing with canvas is, you know, your, your corners. And so I'm trying to kind of do a mini side dip just so I can get some paint on those corners. Um, because eventually they'll, they'll fall off and, um, But, okay, so there's that one. I think it turned out very well. It's, it's nice for just a small piece. This was actually a 12 by 12, which is probably one of the smallest canvases that I do. Um, I've seen some people, they're like, I'm doing a huge one today. It's 12 by 12. And I'm like, really? It's like the smallest one that I do. Okay, so I'm going to bring you down so you can take a look at it. Okay, here we are. Give you a big overview of it first. And like I said, these colors, we're going to be doing a flip cup in a second on another 12 by 12. So let's go in closer. Um, I'm really excited. I have a, twin, a 12 by 48, no, 24 by 48. I think it's a 24 by 48 canvas out there that we're going to paint on very soon. I'm very excited about it. Um, I just have to clean up my office because I'm going to have to do it on the floor because my table is not big enough. Okay. Well, hopefully y'all like this technique. It's just something I was like, hmm, I'm just going to kind of throw the paint on the canvas and see what happens. And then um, I've done the plastic technique before, but not on something like this. It was something completely different. Um, so yeah, so here's this one. And give me a second and let me get reset and we will get the other canvas out. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, that took so long. Well, for you, it was probably pretty quick. For me, it took forever. Um, because I had to grab a couple of things because I didn't have everything I needed. Okay, so we are going to do a flip cup with these colors. The rest of these colors. And we are going to see what we get. So, let's do... Let's do one big cup. Instead of doing multiple cups, we're gonna do one big cup flip. Okay, we are gonna do one cup. Okay, can everybody see that? Yes. All right, same colors as we started with. And so. in right now, kind of move it around.
and we put gold straight down the middle. Okay. A little bit more of this, the tan or the lightest color one. Kind of give it a swirl on top. And then we're just gonna repeat the process with the rest of the paint. This is probably gonna be way too much color left over, or too much color on the canvas, but that's okay. We can leave it on there a little bit thicker. And if you don't know why um, I'm using canvases when normally I use MDF, it's because Michaels had an incredible, incredible sell. And so I got some canvases. That's, that's why we're using canvas. I think I'm gonna grab a different canvas though. This one is so small. And this is a lot of paint. So I'm gonna grab one that's a little bit bigger because this is just gonna demolish this small canvas. Okay, let me go grab a different one. Okay. This one's a little bit bigger, it's a 14 by 18. Whoa, that could have been bad. That just like flew across the room. I do not want to mix that up though. Okay, this can be used for something else in a bit. Let's put that in the safe space. Okay, let me put my tax on real quick. a little bit bigger so we should be okay all right let's go right there okay we're gonna give that just a second because I don't want it to mix too much last time I've tried to pick one of these up I had a lot of suction so we're gonna release some of that pressure there we go. It's like bubbling up right there because there's so much paint stuck up here because of the pressure. Just put a couple puncture holes into it. And um, you know, we're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna kind of drag this around and see what we get. And if it turns out nice and we wanna add some negative space, I'll mix some up real quick. But let's just see what happens. All right, let's do this. Grab a corner catcher. I just have one on my table. Here it is.
Sorry, I know y'all can't see this. Trying to keep it to where y'all can see what's going on, but sometimes that's just not possible with the angle of the camera. paint is pretty thick so we're not getting a, a whole bunch of cells um, everything was pretty thick and um, pretty much the same consistency so we're not getting a whole whole bunch of cells that's okay we don't have to have cells and everything just to shift slightly. Um, next couple of days, I will be on my scroll saw outside. It is that time of year. My show is, um, gosh, 10 days away, I think. So I have my stack of stuff that needs to get built. Um, built the prototype for my display units uh, last night. So I have to get those built. I've got like 12 of them I have to build. And so I'll be working on that probably all day tomorrow. I am off work. Um, for the next week and a half until after my first show on December 2nd and then I'll have another one in Burnet um, the following weekend so next couple weeks are going to be very long for me a lot of stuff to make a lot of stuff to build a lot of stuff to design Still going to try and get y'all videos of all the various stuff going on. So if you're interested in scroll sawing and um, that kind of stuff, that will be happening soon. So if anybody's interested in that, stick around. If you're not interested in that, that's fine. There's going to be plenty of videos, painting videos, because once I get everything cut, I still got to get everything painted. Um, all my superhero stuff and um, some of them are night lights so I'm actually going to do videos from start to finish on how I build those put the lights on them and all that kind of stuff so that could be exciting if you like interesting stuff like that and yep there we go
we go. And that's it. Okay, hopefully this all will run off pretty soon. Um, let me do this. There we go. A couple of quick taps. Okay, those are done. Go ahead and bring you down for a closer look. Okay, here it is. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. Or if you have any criticism, I'm open to that too. Um, I know everybody has their own way of doing things. And, and um, helping people learn is something I love to do. And I would love to be helped be learned if you want to say, which is incredibly terrible English, and I apologize for that. Um, if you want to help me expand my knowledge, um, I am happy as well for it to have that. Um, if you'd like to see all my other stuff, please go to my Facebook page at Woodworking in Faith. Um, everything I've ever created, whether it's um, on the scroll saw, furniture that I've built, other paintings, night lights, all of that kind of stuff. Um, tables, uh, coffee tables, Batman coffee tables, all that stuff is on there, as well as my Etsy page at Woodworking in Faith 12. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and a couple of different techniques. And as always, God bless.